welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Doom Eternal. My name is Camel and today I'm bringing you a full guide to the 10th mission known as Necrovol. I'll show you where to get all the goods, all of the secrets, all of the combat secret encounters and complete all of the exploration based aspects of the mission along with some extra stuff on the way. Now if Doom Eternal content interests you, be sure to check out the other videos that I've already done. They can be found via the playlist down below in the description. Now down there you can also find my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram after this video. And if you're looking for something specific throughout the mission, timestamps can also be found down there along within the comments. For now though, let's get into Necrovol. Firstly, let's take a look at the mission challenges. We have to kill two demons with the Crucible Blade. This is easy enough, you just have to make sure to not use the Crucible Blade on a demon you cannot kill with the Crucible Blade, aka the Marauder or the Doom Hunter before its shield has been taken down. Throughout the level, there are also only two Crucible pickups, the, the ammunition for the Crucible Blade, so you have to make sure these hits hit a demon, or you can just reload a checkpoint until you get two kills. The second one, kill eight demons using Crusher Traps. This is quite easy. Throughout the level, we will find these green buttons, which if we shoot, it will lower the spikes from the ceiling and crush whatever demons are underneath it. This is really easy. The first two that I encountered, I completed the challenge then. And even if you do complete the challenge, still use these things to crush demons because they're super useful and it's just an instant kill on whatever demons are in there. And lastly, perform a left side glory kill on a Doom Hunter. This is easy enough, although at the end of the level there are two Doom Hunters and this is your only opportunity to do this. Once you get a Doom Hunter in a stagger state, you have to make sure to come around to its left side so that you are facing its chainsaw, then do the glory kill and you'll get the challenge done. If we do all three of these, we'll get three Praetor suit points and a Sentinel battery. So now, at the start of the level, when we come up this staircase here, we need to turn to the left and follow this pathway around. Be sure to not get hit by the turrets. We want to go past the turrets and then around to the right, we can find the Sentinel Crystal. Activating this will allow us to upgrade our health armor or ammunition and possibly unlock a perk. On the map, this Sentinel Crystal is found right here. A little bit further into the mission, we'll be in this hallway. Instead of dropping down, we want to jump onto the platform at the top and then jump around to the left where we can find a Codex Entry. This is the Codex Entry for Necrovol Part 1, which comes with this lovely picture and some lovely lore on Necrovol. On the map, this Codex Entry is found right here, and after we pick up the Codex Entry, we want to turn right to the left where we can get 50 armor. Be sure to grab this, and if we drop back down, we can get 25 armor as well. Be sure to grab both of those. Now, when we come out into this big arena and we take care of all the demons, we need to stand on this green thing in the middle, which will open up the gate to our right, which uh, we need to go through to complete the mission. However, once it does open, don't go through the gate. Instead, what we want to do is jump on this monkey bar, onto this monkey bar, and then if we turn to the left, we can jump onto this climb wall. Then from here, we need to jump backwards and to the left off of the climb wall and dash into this little area here, where we can find an extra life. Be sure to grab that. On the map, this extra life is found right where the slayer is standing. Now from this extra life, we want to drop down into this hole where we can find a secret. This secret is the collectible toy for the Baron of Hell. On the map, the Baron of Hell is found right here underneath that extra life, of course. Now when we drop down into this selection pit, this bit can be a bit confusing. We need to shoot this button, which will open this gate to the right. Then, once inside, get in front of the punch pad, shoot the button once again to open the gate, punch the block, dash out the side, then jump onto the block and jump up onto this climb wall. Once we're up the top here, we can jump into this cage and progress on with the level. Next, we will be fighting Calabas the Sightless Judge. What we need to do is shoot these four purple eyes when the shields or the barriers raise up or lower that reveal the eye. Only one will be revealed at a time. I would suggest using the Ballista with the Arbalist modification. That damages each eye almost to defeat and then you can just use any other weapon to quickly get the rest of the health down. This room is pretty crazy. Um, a few demons will spawn including two pain elementals which adds a real element of pain to the fight. And also the platforms that you stand on raise up and down lowering into the lava and then coming out and anywhere that doesn't move has flames shooting out of it occasionally so be very careful of all of these hazardous aspects of this fight. Once the sightless judge has been defeated we need to come up this climb wall and then up these steps if you want to call them those. Once at the top turn around and jump into this little area here where we can find 30 armor. On the map this 30 armor is found right here where the slayer is standing. Once we get that we want to come back to the top of the stairs, turn to the right and then to the left where we can find a Praetor suit point. Be sure to grab that like your lover's ass once we all come out of quarantine. On the map, this is found right here. Unlike
unlike your partner who you won't see for months. From here, we want to head back around the way we came, and this is one of these buttons we can shoot that raises up the spiked things that we can shoot and then crush demons. Once you come up into this next room, you can shoot this one and basically complete the, the challenge immediately, as I did. Anyway, once in this second room, run to the back where we can find a weapon mastery token. On the map, this weapon mastery token is found right here where the Slayer is. From here, we want to head back into the room, turn to the left, go up the stairs, where at the top here against the wall, we can find another Praetor suit point. Be sure to grab that, of course. On the map, this Praetor suit point is found right where the Slayer is, and from here, we can turn to the right and jump down the ledge where we can find the auto map station. Of course, activating this will reveal the rest of the map to us and not just the bits we have explored. On the map, the auto map station is found right where the Slayer is currently located. Next up, we have a very intense fight on our hands and I'll see you on the other side of that. So once that fight is done, we want to come up to the top of the battle arena where we can find some BFG ammo. I couldn't pick it up because I had full ammo already. On the map, this ammo was found right where the BFG ammo icon is. Now from here, we want to walk over to this side of the room where there is an opening. Now we want to go to the right for the mission, but we don't want to do that. We want to go to the left and under the platform we came from originally. We need to jump down and then just dash into this hole where we'll drop down into this secret area. Right to the right, we can find one of the secret encounter gore nests. On the map, this is marked by the purple or pink battle icon. This encounter is not too hard, but we do only have 10 seconds to take care of a Hell Knight and a Mecha Zombie. Use the Ice Bomb on the Hell Knight and then pump it with rockets. That's a really easy way to do that. And then you can pump the Mecha Zombie with the rocket, which should kill it instantly. Anyway, once we do that, we want to follow this secret area around to the left, where we can jump up onto this ledge and where we can see there is a secret up here. This secret is the collectible toy for the gladiator. Like a cannibal that just ate his female enemy. He's glad he ate her. On the map, this is found right where the slayer is standing. Now we go back to that arena room where we just dropped down. Uh, instead of going to the left for the secret, we want to go to the right for the mission. We can jump onto this climb wall and jump up into this area here. Once we do get to the top, there will be a battle on our hands. Take care of that battle. But then once it is done, instead of continuing on with the mission, we we want to go to the left and follow this hallway all the way down the stairs, then turn to the left and at the back of this room next to the fire pit, we can find an extra life. Be sure to grab this, of course. Now on the map, this extra life is found right where the Slayer is located. Next when we enter this room with the meat grinders coming down from the ceiling, when the first one lifts up, turn to the right and there is a cracked wall we can punch through, revealing a secret. This secret is the collectible toy for the Doom Hunter. I've been hunting for this throughout Doom. Now on the map, this can be found right where the Slayer is standing. And next to this, we can find a weapon mastery token. Be sure to grab that, of course. Now, when we come out into this next arena style fight, there is a buff totem. What you need to do is come to the back right hand corner of the room, jump up here, then jump over onto this platform where there is the 50 armor and then over on this platform where there is the buff totem. Destroy it of course. You don't have to destroy it but destroying it will get rid of the buff on the demons and that buff on the demons is going to cause some real issues. On the map in case you can't find it the buff totem is found right where the slayer is located. Anyway finish the now unbuffed fight and I'll see you on the other side of it. So once that's done in this room we want to come to the left side where there are these cages of corpses being lifted up. We want to jump on top of one of them with the green candles and then this will raise us up. We want to turn this way and face this climb wall, jump onto the climb wall and then jump over this green ledge at the top here. Now we will drop down into this area where there is a green skull that we can push in. This will unlock one side of the gate that we need to go through for the mission. But what this also does is, is unlock the area so we can get to that secret behind us. So from the skull, we want to walk forward and go back the way we came originally, past these meat grinders and back into this room here, then turn to the right and go up these stairs. Now before we get to the secret, we can see there is the second secret Gornest encounter of the mission. On the map, this can be found right here, marked by the purple or pink battle arena icon. This one isn't too hard, there's a few zombies and a Hell Knight. The Hell Knight is pretty tough, but um, it's not crazy, we got like 30 seconds to do it, uh, especially if you use the, the freeze bomb or the ice bomb. It can make this guy a bit of a chump and quite easy to defeat. I just pumped him with grenades, rockets, and ballista bolts, of course, with the Arbalest modification. Anyway, you shouldn't really have too many issues with this one, it's pretty easy. Now, once we have defeated that, we want to come back to where the Gornus was, follow the stairs up and around where we can find a secret. Now, this secret is the collectible vinyl album for Keen. You've got to eat your vegetables, which is true, you do. Well, you don't have to, but it's pretty good for you. On the map, this can be found right where the vinyl is found. From here, we're going to go back out into this room, 
Now these meat grinders will be activated on the other side of the room. We want to run through these, and as soon as we get through here, we will be faced with a Marauder. Take care of him in any way you can, because Marauders absolutely suck to fight. Once he's been dealt with, we want to come where these elevators are carrying corpses up. We need to wait for one to go past us, and as soon as it goes past us, we need to drop down into the elevator shaft, turn around, and then dash out of this small gap. Here we can find a secret. Now this secret is the cheat code for Famine Mode, which has no demon drops. Now on the map, this Famine Mode cheat code can be found right where the Slayer is standing, marked by the floppy disk. And right in front of this, in the same room, we can find a Crucible Pickup. This is the ammunition you need for the Crucible Blade. Again, this is one of two on the level, and we need to kill two demons with the Crucible Blade for the mission challenge, so be sure to grab that and use it wisely. Then we need to catch one of these elevators back up to the floor we came from originally where we fought the Marauder. Once up here, turn to the right, head down this hallway, and turn to the right again where we can find a Codex page entry. This is the Codex page entry for Fuel the Eternal Flame Part 1, which comes with this lovely picture and of course some lovely lore. On the map, this is found right here where the Slayer is standing. From here, we're going to come around this corner, up these stairs, and push in the second green skull, which will unlock the second part of the gate that we need to go through for the mission. Now, once we jump down here and go through the gate, there are some demons, but at the back of the room, there is also some BFG ammo. Be sure to pick this up if you need it. On the map, this BFG ammo is found right where the Slayer currently is. Now, from here, we're going to enter the final battle arena of the mission. Now this room is quite important, as it has two Doom Hunters, which of course we need to perform a left side glory kill on one of them, and this room also contains the second Crucible Pickup. Now the second Crucible Pickup is found right in the middle of the room, floating above a jump pad. Be sure to grab that on the map, it's found right here in case you can't find it. So now that we've picked up both Crucible Pickups, for the Crucible Blade, we have enough ammunition to perform two Crucible kills on two demons. Now I have performed Crucible Blade attacks on Doom Hunters before and it hasn't killed them. So I would highly suggest using the Crucible Blade on demons other than the Doom Hunters. I would also suggest doing this before killing the Doom Hunters, as once the Doom Hunters are dead, there may not be any demons left in the arena. Anyway, once you've done the Crucible Blade bit, get to the Demon Hunters. Now again, we have to perform a left side glory kill, and that is the left side of the Doom Hunter, which is the side with the chainsaw. So once you get it in a stagger state where you can perform a glory kill, make sure to run around to the right of it so that we're facing its left side and facing the chainsaw then perform the glory kill and we will get the mission challenge completed of course if you fail to do this you can reload the checkpoint if you so wish once all that fights done we can come to the back of the room where behind the statue we can find 50 armor floating above a spiked pit we need to jump and grab this you don't have to do this but getting 50 armor is definitely worth it on the map this can be found right where the slayer is again behind that statue from here we want to turn around and face the front of the room where we can jump off of these two monkey bars and onto this middle platform with a green skull. Then we want to turn to the right. We're over in the corner. In this upper area, we can find an extra life. Be sure to grab that. On the map, the extra life's found right here. And from that extra life, we want to jump forward back onto the middle platform and then across to this platform here, where we'll find a bunch of flames, meat grinders, all the good stuff that we do not want to get hit by. Make your way through here without dying or getting too damaged. Keep following this through, jump up onto this ledge where we can find a Sentinel Knight holding a Praetor suit point, be sure to grab that of course. On the map, this is found right where the Slayer is standing, right before the end of the mission. Then we come around the corner, we can punch the statue of Olivia Pierce right in the back. She will crumble like all of society is right now, and then we can jump down into the hole in the floor which she has made. This is where we finish the mission. Now if you followed this guide, you would have done all the combat, you would have done all the challenges, and you would have completed all the exploration. Provided you do the eight combat encounters and the two secret gore nests, you would have got all ten weapon points for the mission. Now provided you followed my advice and killed two demons with the Crucible Blade, killed eight demons using the Crusher Traps, and performed a left side glory kill on the Doom Hunter using the advice I gave you, we would have completed all three challenges, getting three Praetor suit points and the Sentinel Battery. And again, if you followed this guide, you would have found all 13 items on the map, completing the exploration aspect of the mission, getting the one Sentinel Crystal, the three Praetor suit 
hit points, the two mastery tokens, the two codexes, the three toys, the one album, and the one cheat code. And there you have it, congratulations, you have completed mission 10 of Doom Eternal, successfully and completely. Now the next thing for us is mission 11, which is where I will see you next. Directly. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my full walkthrough guide for Doom Eternal's Mission 10, Necrovol. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you will be very interested in checking out the other Doom Eternal videos that I've already done. They can be found down in the description via the playlist. Now down there, in the old description, you can also find my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon, or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most genuinely appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon. Until then, rip and tear until it is done.